There are thousands of chemical reactions happening in your body right now. Lots of helpful reactions and some not so helpful. And all of these reactions need to be very carefully controlled to prevent imbalances of substances in your body and maintain homeostasis. Sometimes you might need more of a particular substance and so need to increase the rate of a reaction that produces that substance. If this reaction was in a test tube, you can increase the rate of reaction by raising the temperature, giving the molecules in the reaction more energy, increasing the probability of the enzymes and substrates interacting with each other. However, increasing the temperature to speed up reactions in the human body isn't a great idea because you'd speed up all the unwanted and detrimental chemical reactions as well as the useful ones and the heat would damage your cells and you wouldn't survive. So that's not really the way forward. So how do living organisms speed up the useful chemical reactions without increasing the temperature and speeding up the unhelpful ones too? Well, living organisms produce enzymes. And enzymes are capable of speeding up just the wanted reactions. So what is an enzyme? Enzymes are biological catalysts. They're biological because they're produced by living organisms. And they're catalysts because they increase the rate of reactions without being used up or permanently changed themselves. So an enzyme is a biological catalyst produced by living organisms and it can increase the rate of a reaction without being used up or changed during the reaction. And we can say that enzymes catalyse reactions. It's also important to remember that enzymes are not alive. Now enzymes are actually proteins and they're made from chains of amino acids. And these chains are actually folded to create an enzyme with a pocket that has a unique shape. And this pocket is called the active site. And the active site binds to a molecule with a complementary shape. And this molecule is called the substrate. And it's the molecule that is changed during the enzymatic reaction. Now, enzyme specificity is the ability of an enzyme to bind to and change one type of substrate. Enzymes have high specificity for their substrates. They can only catalyse one reaction. Now, the lock and key mechanism is responsible for an enzyme's high specificity. And this mechanism basically describes how only one type of substrate can fit into the active site of an enzyme. Only one substrate fits because a substrate fits its enzyme like a key fits a lock. Only the correct shaped key can open a particular lock, as only the correct shaped substrate can be changed by a particular enzyme. So we liken the key to the substrate and we liken the lock to the enzyme's active site. Now the lock and key mechanism is a very simplified version of what actually happens. In reality, whilst the enzyme undergoes no permanent change during the reaction, it does change the shape of its active site slightly and momentarily so that it can get a tighter grip on its substrate. And this is known as the induced fit model. Enzymes are involved in two types of reactions, those that break down large molecules such as starch, lipids and proteins to form smaller products such as maltose, fatty acids, glycerol and amino acids, and those that synthesise large products such as glycogen by adding smaller molecules such as glucose together. And I go into the detail of these reactions in a later video. Enzymes work best in optimum conditions, such as the right pH and temperature. And most enzymes in the human body work best at a pH of 7 and a temperature of 37 degrees C. But sometimes an enzyme can find itself in unfavourable conditions, such as extreme pH or temperature, and it can become damaged. Bonds can break in the active site of the enzyme, meaning that it no longer fits the substrate and cannot catalyse the reaction. Now this process is called denaturation and at the end point the enzyme is said to be denatured. And it's really important to remember when answering questions about denatured enzymes that enzymes are not living organisms and because they're not alive they cannot be dying, killed or dead. So don't use these words to refer to enzymes that are damaged or denatured in your exam. 
If you would like some free GCSE revision notes that accompany this series of videos, please head over to my website www.drmeclever.com. You'll also find my revision guides here. And if you want to say hello and get updates on my latest work, scrollable revision notes and freebies, you can follow me on Instagram or other social media under the handle at drmeclever. And finally, if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share. Thank you.